Hey, what's up, guys? Yes, I'm still doing this. Jessica Jones, episode 11, season 2. Three lives and counting. Of course, uh, if you get the um, um, the underlying message in the, uh, in the title there, that's three lives, three people that Jessica Jones killed. Uh, the first one, which kind of took me a while to remember, was um, Luke Cage's wife. I can't remember the name just yet, but that was the first one. Obviously, the second one is Kilgrave, and obviously the third one, this uh, new uh, douchebag, uh, Dale, who very much deserved it. Uh, the first two, the, the, the second two at least. Uh, I love this episode. I love, finally, we get to see Kilgrave back. David Tennant in his full David Tennantness. Finally back on the show. I cannot believe how much I miss this guy. I mean, when they, uh, when, when the episode started and she basically, she threw, uh, Dale off the roof and he was just, just standing there going, <coughs> you know, the, kind of like the, the Joker from, uh, uh, the Dark Knight, I mean, I just jumped in this couch, I was like, oh, that was, oh, that was so good, and he was so good in this episode, I mean, I've, I have heard he might show up in this uh, season, there was some uh, leaked uh, set photos of uh, him and uh, uh, Christian Ritter on set, Christian Ritter obviously plays uh, Jessica on the, on the show, and he was in full costume, and she was all... Costume. And uh, she was in uh, full costume, and they were both uh, standing on set. So, there was some speculations that maybe he would uh, come back in some way, shape, or form. Maybe it was, would have been uh, flashbacks, or uh, possibly he's in her head. Now, of course, if you've seen the episode, which I've, I hope you did, because you probably wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't. He's... Uh, still in her head and we even see that uh, multiple times during this, this episode when she the first time when she uh, she quotes you know the the old uh, address where she lived because that usually kept him at bay uh, uh, last season you know the whole cobalt lane uh, thing that's the, literally the only thing I remember from that uh, quote but still I mean he was so good in this episode I am so so sad that he that he didn't came back to life. I I missed him so much. I wanted to see him so badly, but I didn't. And well, well, I mean, I got him in this episode, so I can't really complain. I wish they'd find some way to bring him back uh, in the next season, because you know, in the comics, he, he basically is unkillable. I mean, I think I said it once before. He in the comics, he got hit by a by a train, and he he got back on his feet in a matter of days. So, and in the last season, he was hit by a truck, and he still kept on going. So maybe they could find a way for him to to you know come back to life, but who knows? Um. Let's talk a little bit about Malcolm and Trish. So, I guess that relationship's over. Uh, first of all, can we just address there is a button on the inside of a trunk for people to just... People who are tied up in a trunk to just escape? Is that a thing now? Seriously? Did enough people get kidnapped and thrown inside of car trunks that... <laughs> she made an escape button for that. Oh, I, I kind of feel like I have to look into that now. Okay, uh, th that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, uh, this whole uh, at first, you know, I said in the previous review, I s said that either Trish was gonna kill Doctor Malus. Or she's going to do something really stupid. And apparently, she did something very stupid. Which is, uh... 
she got him. The only reason she went went out to find him was so that she could uh, get him to restart his progress, his uh, research. She wanted uh, to have the same powers that she got from the inhaler, but she wanted it to be uh, permanent, kind of like uh, Captain America. Um, I'm not. I'm not really sure how to react to that because it's a stupid thing to do. It is, but I mean, she does make a pretty valid point. She, we've seen multiple times during the show that she was abused by her mom, and obviously in the first season, uh, Simpson came after her at first. And she felt powerless to stop him, and she wanted to do more, but she couldn't. So, if there is a chance that you can... I don't know. I don't know if I would do that. Seriously. And of course, she grew up with an incredibly powerful uh, sister. So... Again, I, I, I don't, I don't know what to to think, um, but uh, of of course, unfortunately, it uh, didn't work as well. So uh, Jessica had to take her to the hospital. I don't think they're going to kill her. I, uh, she miraculously survives, and decides to just stay off the just give up on the whole uh, IGH idea for a while or they're gonna just uh, write it a, cer a certain twist it in a certain way that uh, the drugs actually worked and now she is super powered and maybe she's gonna be the villain in uh, season 3 I mean that's just a little speculation of mine um, it's a little early to make uh, speculations of uh, season 3 because we don't even know if we're going to get a season three yet, but that's what I'm uh, uh, speculating. Write it down, because I've said it right now. And, uh, of course, next uh, season, when we'll, when we'll find out that I was terribly wrong, you can point it to me and say, you were wrong! So, uh, that's that. Of course, Jessica showing off her uh, incredible skills at finding people with the whole uh, teaser app uh, thing. We get to see uh, Alyssa, uh, a whole new side of her. With, with she was more relaxed, calmed down. It's amazing what um, a simple shift of, uh, like she said, a changing of the guard. It can do to a person, but of course she uh, had, uh, and also we had uh, the little flashback of her and uh, Doctor Mollis at the sea. We. See a little bit more backstory there. Um, and obviously the scene that made uh, this character in the show was the when she found out that Mollus was dead and she did the same thing that uh, Carrie Ann Moss did in the previous episode. Speaking of Carrie Ann Moss, she did not appear at all in this episode. Just thought I'd mention that. And... Uh, like I said, it's becoming a trend in this season of just breaking down and crying on the floor like that. But obviously, as soon as they showed it that she heard he was dead, I immediately knew that she was going to break out eventually. It was inevitable. She was either going to rip the door apart or she was going to punch the wall and uh, escape. Of course... She killed that guard, by the way. She didn't just made her unconscious. I, I thought she was going to kill her, but I did not expect her to just throw her at the, the wall like that. That was ugh, brutal. But, since I can't really uh, suppress my excitement for the next uh, episode, I'm just going to uh, stop this uh, little review right now, and I'm going to see what the next uh, episode holds. See you then.